It has been a lot of fun, I have to say. Uh, it was really interesting interacting with uh, the other volume organizer. We were coming from different fields, different backgrounds. And so we shared uh, ideas in a very productive way. And finally, I think we came out with a very nice list of topics that were very comprehensive of uh, uh, almost all the aspects of material uh, science. Uh, we have done some works through uh, meetings, I mean real meetings uh, seeing each other, but also a lot of work just with uh, uh, phone calls. Uh, it, it has been really interesting, productive and instructive. So the MRS bulletin is, uh, is read by every single MRS member and there's I believe over 16,000 worldwide. In addition, it's in every library of every organization and institution that has uh, you know, materials related research. So, so very wide readership, uh, very high impact factor and uh, also uh, um, you know, it's, uh, the, the articles in, this, uh, in the MRS bulletin are usually authoritative reviews as opposed to just you know, the most current research, uh, they, are, they are reviews. So it makes it very unique because of those reasons, yeah. Um, uh, there's a couple of different ways you can, they can do that. The simplest would be to approach one of the uh, volume organizers. Uh, typically, the volume organizers are, uh, f uh, uh, have different uh, you know, areas of research, so you can, you can pick who the appropriate volume organizer would be. And actually it doesn't matter, any one of the four is, is just fine also. So the easiest way would be uh, for an author to directly approach one of the uh, volume organizers and they can start the process going. The important thing is the, the, that the fact that the MRS bulletin is read by almost the whole community. Uh, all the MRS member, uh, the, the membership is very wide. All the, the people working on materials is basically member in, of the society. So the, your work is read by everybody. And this is the most important uh, thing. You, uh, are, you have the possibility of presenting a sort of overview of your work and the work of the others. So this becomes some kind of uh, authoritative uh, papers that stays for, for a long time. They can be cited and, and they represent a sort of uh, landmark for people working in that specific field. Uh, this, uh, this is a very big incentive, I think, in, uh, in, in publishing in, in MRS Bulletin. Is the, the main incentive is the fact that uh, the whole community will read your work.